there's a, a line in the um, A Course in Miracles, apparently. I've heard this quoted. That supposedly, it's, I think it's the second line in the book, and it says, you and I give everything all the meaning it has. And we, you can interpret that as like, you know, dramatic meaning or something. But it, I think it it's literally means all meaning. Like, there's form here. There's a body here. There's a body there. There's someone here and someone there. There's a message propagating to another being in this room. None of that's actually happening. This really leaves you lost for words. <laughs> and 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 then the funny thing is, as that digests, um, or uh, um, clarifies into the relative uh, movement of of your life of Eric doing whatever he does, there's no reservation in the relative anymore. Or, or far less than there ever was, even in the relative world. There's no reason to negate the relative or the conventional, which is really interesting. So then you live in a, a sort of comedy. You live in a paradoxical comedy. What is it? Um, God is a comedian whose audience is too afraid to laugh. It's like that kind of a thing. This is absurd. Last time I talked to Adyashanti, the last retreat I went to of another teacher, by the way, and um, I really enjoyed it, but it, it, it was, there was a part of it that just was so absurd. I was sitting in a room of like 300 people and he's on the stage talking and he's very, very clear and so articulate and so energetically clear and stuff. And it's so beautiful, but I was, but I was stopped, stopped noticing him as much. I was just noticing all the people, you know, they're just fixated on him, you know, the whole room of people. Um, and, uh, it just struck me. And so I went up and talked to him and I just said, you know, I'm sitting in the audience, right? And I'm looking, watching, there's a room full of hundreds of bodies. You know, and they're talking, they're empty shells and they're talking to a body up on stage and they're listening to that, you know, and then all this, these are all bodies are just Buddha nature appearing. And they're talking, listening to this person up here using words that are made out of Buddha nature, propagating through the air, which is Buddha nature and thinking they're going to get something out of that. Like they're going to receive something from that. And I just said, it's, it's kind of funny, actually. And he leaned forward and he goes, it's kind of like hold your gut and roll on the floor funny, isn't it? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it kind of is. That was it. And I just sat down. <laughs> There's such a, an absurdity, the fact that I'm even sitting here, like, like I know something, you know. Um, I kind of go, how did I get here? Like, how did it? How did it get this crazy? Like, how did it get out of this out of hand where I'm like talking in front of a camera, <laughs> putting it on YouTube? That's nuts. It's ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. Uh, and yet, again, the relative world, like there's no reason to reject it anymore. It just is doing whatever it does. It does some crazy, absurd things. 